So interoperability, I think, in, in healthcare, certainly in the oncology space, equals efficiency. You know, the more connected systems are, the less duplicate work and effort the practices have to spend uh, in the care of, of patients. In, in this particular case, for the reasons I mentioned earlier, there really wasn't a lot of interoperability. There are certainly some EHRs that already had telehealth capabilities built in, typically the larger systems. But most of EHRs used by COA practices and my clients did not have any direct integration with a specified telehealth platform. So what that creates is there's essentially some duplicate work where you have to schedule a visit, say, in your practice management system, and then you also have to create a visit in the telehealth platform. Uh, and that looks a little different based on what platform you're using, but it does create a little bit of that duplicate work. Same thing if a patient calls to cancel or reschedule, there ends up being some, some double work there. There's also, I think, a lot of emerging opinion about how do you document a telehealth visit. So certainly providers are still documenting in the electronic health records, but what do you do with the video that can be captured in a telehealth visit? Do you save that? Do you make that part of the record? Um, with billing codes, now that CMS has started to, to move forward and, and provide some parity and reimbursement, how do you have the telehealth platform effectively communicate with the practice management EMR such that the billing codes can be passed automatically reduce the possibility that a code is missed and not billed. And also, again, just reduce the double effort on the practice. So the answer right now is I think that interoperability is immature. Uh, but one of the things that I'll be speaking about in my presentation is it's really important to start communicating with your telehealth provider to understand what their intentions are as far as interfacing and integrating with your practice management and EHR so that in the future you can expect to achieve those efficiencies.